came across this story back in 2017 while I was still only freelancing for AirAsia and I was given the task of finding a cultural angle on one of our new destinations, Manipur. Manipur is a small state kind of tucked away in the northeastern corner of India bordering Myanmar and through my research I soon found out that the region is actually very well known for the unique and traditional martial art Tangta. <laughs> Whenever I did these stories, I always try to find the best possible contact there is because I do believe that you can actually lose a good story by contacting the wrong person. But when you find the right one, everything kind of trickles down from there. I mean, you get the best possible access, people are helping you, and even if you're lucky, you can, you can, you can even end up people driving you around. So this time I found Huidron Prem Kumar, the president of the Tangta Federation and although our, our initial communication was a little bit rocky because of his English, things took shape quickly and soon I was on an air Asia flight to the capital of Manipur, Imphal. As soon as I landed I was, I was in for a surprise because one of the first few people I met was actually the king of Manipur, yes, the king of Manipur. Laishamba Sanajaoba, if I remember his name well. Sandeep, the associate of the president, picked me up from the airport and drove me straight to the indoor stadium. And I just managed to beat his royal majesty by a few minutes. And I got to meet him at the door and as I was the only foreigner in the whole stadium he acknowledged my presence and this is how I got to meet the King of Manipur. But more importantly within that hour I met my main contact Huidron Prem Kumar, uh, the president of the Tangta Federation who turned out to be a very very nice and helpful guy and I still love to visit him to this day if I, if I have a chance. Uh, book of Tangta. Tangta Marsenars. Tangta is the name of Marsenars for Manipuri Mite. This is Indian Marsenars. In my previous video about Tangta, I talked about the martial art itself in detail. So in this one, I'm not going to do that. I would rather just revisit the experience and gather all the impressions that I got from there. <laughs> One of them was, and I think I mentioned this in the article that I wrote about it, that whenever I travel around as a photojournalist in, in Southeast Asia or Asia, I am always surrounded by kids who are curious about my photography equipment and drone lying around. But this time something was entirely different. Uh, the kids were very, very disciplined and focused, which I gathered that, that, that must have come from the martial art, Tangta. Instead of rushing around me and being curious, they were kind of reserved and, and very, very disciplined. And this outlined for me how in Manipur, which was a warring state throughout its history, how Tangta was like a social glue that held everything together and it was very very actually more important than I thought before I did the story. So this was a, a very very interesting aspect while I was there and experiencing it. My timing actually couldn't have been more perfect because 
it was not only the 18th state tongue touch championship taking place in the stadium, but it was August 15th, 2017, which was the 60th anniversary of the end of the British rule in India. So uh, this even more highlighted things for me about the history of Manipur. A lot of people were talking about this throughout my, st my stay. I remember it was like curfew after dark in those uh, couple of days and there was certain tension in the air about this. All in all, I felt very privileged and kind of touched to be introduced to the whole Tong Tok community and especially to Huidron Premkumar who gave me the best access possible really. He, he took me around town to the best uh, masters weapon makers and, and um, I got to meet a lot of interesting people through him. On the other hand, Sandeep, his assistant, introduced me to Imphal as a city and drove me around to these special places like this market where only women were allowed to run a business. I think it was actually called the ladies market. Very special place. The last day perhaps was the most memorable for me because Prem Kumar drove me out of Imphal and took me to his home village and uh, invited me for dinner and introduced me to his family and it was a very very nice experience. And this is also very special because he showed me this book from the 1920s that belonged to one of his gurus, one of his masters, and it was all handwritten with Tangta uh, rules and movements and stuff like that. Thangvitaru, this number two, Thangvitaru, this goal and another this. All are the lessons of Tangta practicing. This also like 20, 20. Uh, here, very These are step. still steps? Yeah, no? yeah, this is, I know. This is the step, this is secrecy. Secrecy here, uh, 65 stepping. After that we went up to this hilltop with a nice church on it and uh, he arranged like 20 of his best students to demonstrate like movements and tongue uh fighting techniques for me for for my shoots for the magazine and it was very special. This is when he gave me this wonderful interview. We just sat down on the grass. At the banner of the Tanta, India and the world's we make one home, one home, one integration. And talked about Tangta with uh, the kids, you know, fighting in the background and I was flying my drone around. It was really the perfect ending to a wonderful and successful assignment and to be honest even after like four years passed now I still want to go back and, and do another shoot and another article about Tonto. It was that special. <laughs> <laughs>